Hello, hello, hello everyone. Today I'm coming to you with a product review. This was requested um, by one of my subscribers. It was a really good request, um, so thank you for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, sort of review one of the most infamous products on YouTube, and it is Chanel's Tan, or what is it, Soleil Tan de Chanel, or Soleil, what do they name it now? I think it's Tan de Soleil de Chanel or something. I don't know. But it's basically Bronze Universal. It's a cream bronzer made by Chanel. It's $48. It comes, um, it's one ounce or 30 grams. So in case you're wondering. And it is a cream bronzer. Mine's kind of yucky because I have quite a bit of brush hairs in it. But this is basically what it looks like. It is a brown color. I have removed all my foundation, re-put it on with some blush, and I'm going to apply this on my skin. Then I'm gonna compare it to some other popular bronzers on the market right now. So I like to apply this brush, or this, this bronzer, with like an angled brush or like a 109 brush from MAC. So this is a crown angled brush, but this is a 109 brush, but it does attract brush hairs. So FYI, if you are buying this product, it does att uh, attract brush hairs. So I'm just gonna swirl this around and apply it for you first so you can see, and I'm gonna use it as a contour. It's a matte bronzer. So I'm just gonna contour it under the cheek a little bit. And I'm gonna take it through up into the hairline of my skin. It is extremely easy to blend because it's like a whipped bronzer. It's not completely cream. It's almost like a whipped sort of formula. So it's very easy to apply, very easy to blend, and it's not streaky on the skin. It's a very natural tan look. Um, it works better for me in the winter than it does in the summer. In the winter, a uh, Chanel shade I wear is usually 30, and in the summer I can use up to a 40 to a 40, basically. So I've been wearing my 40 lately with um, Tint Innocence, um, and basically in MAC terms, um, I'm an NW25 in the summer, and I can even go up to a little bit darker than that, um, than an NW25, sometimes NW30 and uh, depending on how tan I am. And then in the winter, I usually go down to a, like an NW 25 to 20 and kind of have to mix those two to get the perfect shade. So that's my coloring if you're curious. So this works best for me in the winter. It doesn't look as tan on me in the summer because obviously I'm quite tan in the summer, um, especially if I'm out in the sun a lot. So this is what it looks like, and this is winter for me. I haven't been out really tanning or anything, or tanning, I don't really tan, but just out in the sun. I haven't been out in the sun or anything like that. So that's what it looks like on my skin right now. Some other uh, bronzers you may be familiar with, um, and just to compare, so this is Chanel's Bronze Universal, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. It is creamy. This is what it looks like on the finger, and then I'm gonna swatch it right here on my hand, so hopefully, I'm gonna put a lot on so you guys can see. Oh, and just to show you the packaging, it is a screw top lid, and then inside, it comes with this like little plastic piece to cover the product, you just lift it off, it just keeps it fresh, the product, you just put it back in there, and screw the lid back on. So here is the Bronze Universal Swatch, that's what it looks like on my hand. It's kind of orangey. A lot of people have complained that this looks muddy on them. In the summer, this bronzer can go muddy on me. In the winter, it looks beautiful. For whatever reason, in the summer, it just doesn't look as good on my skin. Now, another matte bronzer that's really popular right now is Benefits Hula. So, and this is not a cream bronzer. This is a um, powder bronzer. It looks like this. And on the skin, let me swatch it good. It's a little bit deeper and a more of a blue-toned bronzer than the um, Chanel Bronze Universal. So there it is right there. So that's Chanel's, or that's Benefit Hula Bronzer. As you can see, it's a lot more blue-toned. And here is Chanel's Bronze Universal, much more orange looking on the skin. And I think that's also why I can't wear this bronzer in the summer because it just looks muddy. Whereas this bronzer I can wear in the summer, uh, the Benefit one. 
So cool tone bronzer would be Hoola. Um, and as you can see, it looks, it would look better in the summer, especially for contouring. Other popular sort of bronzer slash contouring colors that are matte. This is Blunt from MAC. It is a blush, and I'm going to swatch this for you as well. This is much orangier, um, way darker too. So this is Blunt right here. So you have Blunt, Hula, and then Bronze Universal. Blunt I really only use in the summer because it is so dark and so apparent on the skin. You really have to blend well with it. It is also a powder, um, and it's a powder blush. And it's I think it's only a pro color. But that's just a swatch comparison. So as you can see, Bronze Universal is much more orange, lighter toned. And then Max Bronze Bronzer. This is not a matte bronzer. This is a shimmery bronzer. So bronze is a little bit more red. So I'm going to swatch it. If it will even show up on camera. I'm really swatching this. So you obviously would not put your bronzer on this dark. You move my bracelet down. So this is bronze from MAC. It does have a slight shimmer. And as you can see, it's probably closest in color to Bronze Universal. It is a, but it is, it does have a shimmer in it. So the difference between these two is this is a cream bronzer. Bronze Universal is a cream bronzer and it's matte. Whereas Bronze from MAC, which is a powder bronzer, has shimmer in it, but it's much more closer in tone to Bronze Universal. Another bronzer I absolutely love and adore is this Refined Golden. Now they make Refined Golden in matte, I believe as well. This is the shimmery one. I believe they make it in matte, don't quote me on that. This was released with the To The Beach collection, but it is available in the permanent line. So that is Refined Golden, and I do love this bronzer a lot in the summer. I don't wear it as much in the winter. I stick to Bronze Universal and Hoola in the winter. Um, and to compare something else that is matte, this is a um, mineralized skin finish from MAC, and this one is in dark. And I use this mostly for um, bronzing the skin in the summer because I do get so tan. It is nice to have a dark color sometimes to bronze with that isn't the bronzers you use every day. So to compare this, this is far more orange. I'm going to swatch it on the top of my hand since I'm kind of running out of space. It's up here and it is way, way more orange than Bronze Universal. So that's Bronze Universal and that is Dark from um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And then this is from the Too Faced collection. This is, or not Too Faced collection, the Pixie Perfect collection from Too Faced. And this just has a bronzer and a blush. The bronzer doesn't really show up on my skin, but just in case you do own this product and you're curious, the bronzer is pretty red toned and not very apparent on my skin. It's right there. So you have Bronze Universal there, and there's the Pixie Perfect. Um, I believe it has a name. It's called Sun Bunny Bronzing Powder. Some other products you may own. This is the D Squared palette. It is the Accentuate and Sculpt. Um, this Sculpt color doesn't really show up on my skin. So this is much more... Um, it's, it's going to be, this sculpt color is, is a lot closer to Hula, and it's right here. So here's Hula from Benefit, and there's the sculpt color. Again, um, that sculpt color is a lot more like Hula. I really have to rub on that sculpt color, though, to get any pigmentation. I much, much, much prefer Hula by Benefit um, for sculpting. And then um, some other bronzers I have, which you may be curious about. This is Golden Bronze Loose Powder from MAC. I don't even know when or why I bought this. This was a long time ago. I use it for like adding a nice shimmer. It's very, very shimmery. So um, I'll just put this right on the skin here, just in case you're curious. <laughs> 
and it is absolutely shimmer power golden and it is nothing like Chanel's bronze universal but I just wanted to show you in case you own it and you're curious it is super super shimmery it's not matte at all and it's a bronzing powder I own one more this is benefits faux tan or not benefits sorry bare minerals faux tan and I'm gonna put it let's see right here on my hand it is shimmery they do make it in a matte color it is right there um, and it's a beautiful beautiful bronze it's my new favorite beautiful bronzing color um, it is not as orange as benefits or as Chanel's bronzer so here's Ch Chanel's bronze universal here is faux tan hopefully you can see that so just to review, Faux Tan from Bare Minerals, Chanel's Bronze Universal, which is a matte bronzer, uh, Hula's Benefit Hula, which is a matte bronzer, Max Blunt Blush, which is matte as well, Mac Bronze Bronzer, which is shimmery, Mac Refined Golden, which is shimmery. Over here we have Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, which is matte. Right here we have a Too Faced, what was it called again? Too Faced Sun Bunny, which is a redder color. It is also shimmery. And then here we have, what was that? Oh, the D Squared Sculpt color, which is matte. And then finally, Bronze Loose Powder. It's a shimmery loose powder. So hopefully you guys can see that. So that's comparison swat swatches against Chanel's Bronze Universal. I will put pictures of these on my blog, much clearer pictures than on my hand. I'll do it on my arm so you can really see the difference in pigmentation. Um, and overall, this, this product was $48. So I do love it. I do think it's great, but I'm kind of disappointed that I can only wear it in, this, in the winter. I think it looks really muddy on my skin in the summer, and I think that's just simply because I get so tan in the summer. Um, if you are someone with fair skin, this would be a great product for bronzing up your skin because it's going to give you a really pretty look. I'd be careful, though, and have a light hand sometimes because it can go kind of orange on your skin. Um, if you are deeper than an NW30, I wouldn't recommend this product. It's not worth the money because it will go muddy on your skin. It won't look pretty or fresh throughout the day. Um, you could wear it, try to work with it. Overall though, I think it blends like a dream. I love that it's a whipped formula because it makes it a lot easier to put it on, to apply, and to blend. I've never bought, purchased any other cream bronzer, so I'm a little biased. Um, I realize that. Um, if you'd like me to review any other cream bronzers in comparison to this one, I definitely would be open to that, and I'd be open to suggestions. My opinion of this product though is it's great for what it is, but I wish the color didn't look so muddy on my skin in the summer. So that's just my two cents. Uh, I probably won't purchase it again just because I can only really wear it in the winter. But um, it is a beautiful product. It is Chanel, which always feels expensive and nice. Um, and it comes in really nice packaging and it's really easy to travel with, although it is kind of large. I wish they made it in a smaller packaging and for less money because honestly I've had this product for almost a year now and I've barely used any of it and simply because I can only wear it in the winter. I also wish that the formula didn't attract brush hairs because it looks really nasty when you open it up. The brush hairs get in there and it just it doesn't look pretty. So I wish the formula didn't attract brush hairs the way that it does as well. Otherwise though, it really is a gorgeous bronzer and I, I recommend it if you are fair skin and if you're looking for a cream bronzer. So I hope this uh, little review was helpful and I hope it will help you make decisions in the future. I also hope all these ridiculous swatches will help you in deciding whether or not this is the best product for you. If you can get your hands on MAC Bronze, but without the shimmer, I believe they make one that's not shimmer. Um, like a matte bronze, matte bronze, <laughs> Mac, Max matte bronze. I would highly consider that, or, or rather consider that over Chanel Bronze Universal because even though it is a powder bronzer, it is very close in color and um, it's a lot, lot less, less expensive. So 
and you won't have brush hairs in it. It'll look nice and stay nice. So, and it comes with a mirror, whereas Bronze Universal doesn't. So that's just my two cents. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.